Hey Flosstube, Ashley here, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizum underscore Boogie Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another unboxing. This one is from New Craft Day. I will leave all of their information in the description box down below in case you guys are interested. We have three cross stitch patterns, so let's go ahead and dive right in. First thing is we have a Joy Sunday. So um, me and a few stitching friends, Sally and Abby and myself are all going to be stitching some snowman together. Um, and what better way to do that with a few stamped kits. And so we've all picked out a snowman and so this one is the one that I chose for myself. So here is this guy. And he is a 14 count, uh, 21 by 30. I'm not the hugest fan of 14 count when it comes to stamped kits, but I'm trying to be better because there's so many cool stamped kits that are 14 count that I want to try, but ah, I just can't get past the 14 count. So this is my way of doing that. Uh, this has 30 colors. It's got several colors of backstitch and a couple of French knots, it looks like. So here is what a Joy Sunday looks like. It comes with like a page. Uh, normally post a paper, which this one is, of all of your individual colors and the style of stitch that it goes with. And looks like, luckily this is just one page minus like a couple of stitches of snow. So yay, because one thing I don't like about Joy Sunday is how it has like several different pages and you have to like flip it and try and find like your pattern on where you're at. Um, but this is small enough to where the whole pattern is just on one page. So that's, that's perfect for me. Okay, and let's take a look at the canvas. Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> so here is the canvas. Um, and if you're new to stamped kits, this is not going to be the picture. This is what the picture is going to look like. Um, this, all of this will wash out, um, which by the way, I am working on uh, uh, working on editing some videos on showing that process of washing because I did finish um, that hummingbird in the middle of last year. I finally like finished, finished it and washed it. Um, I still need to frame it, but I've been kind of laid up lately. Um, but I did that and then my mom also finished one of her big full coverage stamped kits. So we showed the washing process of that as well. So that's coming. Um, but here is the whole thing. So it is surged all the way around. The side margins aren't very good. Maybe an inch, maybe a little bit more. The top margin is nice and same with the bottom margin, but it is surged all the way around. And another thing about Joy Sunday is um, the key on the side of the canvas is not the same as the key to this. These are different. So you need to use one or the other, but not both. You can't use both because they're different. Um, and stamping is really good. Joy Sunday has really good stamping. And here is our colors. It is a pretty small pattern, so we don't have a ton. Uh, we do have a few gold tip needles, which I do not use. Um, here is our extra card. So we have some white, a uh, little bit of red, silver, and brown. And then here is our other card. Lots of dark blue and white because we have a blue sky background and then snow for our snowman. But I do like that there are several, um, let me do it like this so you can see the colors better. I do like that there's, um, several like bright colors in here. Reminds me of Christmas. All right, that is it for that one. There we go. Next up, we have Sally's Choice. So this is Sally's Another Joy Sunday. Here's the whole thing. Um, this one is an 11 count. So I think I've only opened up one Joy Sunday that was an 11 count. Um, and I don't even think it was an unboxing. I think it was a purchase of my own accord. Um, but this one is 11 count. It's a 35 by 35. And Joy Sunday is on poster paper. So here is the poster paper. Um, and then this one has 27 colors, several for backstitch and one color for French knots. It looks like the French knots are all of the like snow in the background, which is kind of cool. 
um, unless you don't like fresh knots and then <laughs> not cool. But uh, here's the pattern. Um, and then there's a little bit more on this side as well because it won't fit on a full page. And let's take a look at the canvas. Apparently, so I thought this was a stamped kit. Cotton needle instructions. I thought this was stamped, but I guess not. This is counted. Huh, okay. That was news to me, or shocker. <laughs> so here is the blank canvas. Uh, completely surged all the way around. I'm assuming they don't give you very much margin room, um, so that might need to be changed. I'm not sure. Um, but what's included is 35 by 35, it looks like. And we have a couple of gold tip needles. Oh, there we go. Ta -da. Again, I do not use those. I replace them with something um, of better quality. Some people like those. I just, I don't think that they slide through the fabric very nicely. All right, here's our extra colors right here. It says we have 28 colors. Is that what I just said? Or did I say something else? Oh, I said 27 colors, but I guess there's one extra color as the um, French knot has a different color. And then here are the other colors. Super bright, lots of different colors for the, the snow and everything. Super pretty. I still am shocked this wasn't stamped. I totally thought this was stamped. I would have bet money that this was stamped. Good thing I don't gamble, because <laughs> I would have lost. Okay, next and last up, we have Abby's pattern that she has chosen for her snowman. And this one is a stamped kit. I dropped it. There we go. And, oh, it doesn't have a very good picture. So I'll show you this picture, but then I'll insert one just so you can see what it actually looks like. So here is what was, oh, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> tricked you, wrong side. <laughs> Here's what was given. A little pink snowman. And because that picture is terrible, let me insert the picture of that one right here. Super cute, it's like super pink and playful. I love all of every ones that everyone picked. Uh, okay, so this one is stamped. It's a 40 by 40, 11 count. Here is the pattern um, on poster paper. This one has 35 colors, which is really good for a stamped kit. That's like right middle of the middle of the road. It does come with a page of instructions. It also comes with a tool kit. We got pom pom, gold tip needle, a thimble, and a needle threader. And then we have the canvas, which is like the newer, thicker canvas, which I really like. It's um, nice to work on. So it is surge all the way around, but it does not have very big margins. Um, so Abby might need to like sew some fabric on here for her frame. But here's the whole thing. I like how I can see the snowman and the little nose and the hat in the pattern. Uh, again, I am an item stitcher, so I pick a detail and I stitch it and that motivates me to continue moving on. Um, let's see, stamping. I was like, what am, what am I doing? <laughs> I am looking at the stamping and the stamping is a crisp stamp what I would consider crisp and perfect and beautiful and I'm jealous <laughs> of the stamping. Um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite canvas and my favorite type of stamping. So you can easily see that is a red box with like a yellow circle inside, whereas that, oops, sorry, bumped the mic. Um, and that is a red box. So you can easily see the difference between the two. And now for our favorite part, the colors. We do have a lot of 3865. I'm not sure if she's gonna stitch the background or not, or if she's just gonna leave it white when she washes it. But we have two uh, 36, 3865s as extras. And here is one side. Lots of different colors of pinks, which is perfect because this is a very pink pattern. You want to have all of the different shades. And there's that one. 
Very pretty. All right, that is it for the unboxing part of this video. Um, I will be doing a stitch with me to start mine um, here in just a couple seconds for you, probably a few minutes for me. But thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I hope you all stay safe, stay warm, and take care. And if you're staying on, I'll see you in just a few minutes for that stitch with me. All right, everybody, we are doing the stitch with me. I decided to go ahead and stitch on this beautiful guy so um and this is a little bit of a tight corner so i'm gonna stitch like these first four boxes before putting it in a hoop just to make it a little bit easier so that means i am gonna stitch significantly slower um but that's fine and this is a 14 count so i'm gonna use two strands although part of me wants to try 10 stitch on this maybe i'll try 10 stitch on this one why not? Hi. Yes, it's my camera. Watch out, please. No things. All right, so 14 count. I normally use two strands. I'm going to attempt to do this with four strands. Let's just see. Yep, with Stitch With Me's and all videos these days, we just have lots of background. <laughs> okay, let's attempt to do this. Um, like I said, I'm gonna attempt to do it 10 stitch. So, and in hand, apparently. So we're just gonna, like I said, I wanna try, I've tried 14 count tent and it just hasn't been like quite as good of coverage as I'd like. So we're just gonna try it again and see. Maybe if I stitch loosely. Make it better. Or maybe if I just stitch the four squares. Like sometimes when you're stitching 10 stitch, it looks awful when you first start. But as soon as you get some stitches into it, it's fine. So I'm hoping that I could just stitch loosely and if I stitch these four squares I'll have like a good idea of like what it will look like. It sucks stitching in hand. I'm definitely a hoop girl um, but sometimes it's, it's easier to do this than it is to try and get the hoop on in such a tight corner. So we are just stitching away. I think I'm gonna scoot the camera a little bit closer to me so you can see a little bit better. Here we go. We are in frame a little bit more. So we're just gonna try, see how far we get with one strand. And go from there. Roll that out of my, so I just rolled the side kind of out of my way a little bit. See if that'll stay. Okay, let's try that. What, honey? I heard you Yeah, it's okay. What is that? Mommy's coffee that I forgot I was heating up. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. I reheat my coffee like a bazillion times a day. And yeah, I it goes cold way too fast and sometimes I forget that it's in the microwave so you know we're just living the parent life here <laughs> that's fine I could just reheat it back up not a big deal all right now that I'm starting to get into the rhythm this like last line that I'm working on right here is looking really good and full coverage so like I said when you start working 10 stitch it starts it starts off pretty rocky, but it it looks pretty good in the end. So this one I am gonna stitch. This is a 14 count. Um, so this one I'm gonna stitch two strands, 10 stitch, and it seems to be working out pretty good. So I'm gonna continue with 10 stitch. I 
absolutely love snowman. My favorite part of Christmas. Please don't hold on to him like that. He's a baby. Let go. Thank you. We're trying to teach our older son boundaries because he tries to wrestle with the baby like he's also four and I was like no he's a baby stop <laughs> so that's where we're going through these days so if I start to notice that there's some like orange shining through that means I'm like pulling pulling too tight my tension's too tight so loosen up your tension a little bit. Don't pull the strand quite so hard. Um, or when I start thinking about things or thinking too much, you can tell I forget about my tension at that point and um, it starts to get a little bit tight. But with 10 stitch, I try and stitch a little bit looser. Not necessarily for 11 count. 11 count, I just stitch regular and it works just fine. But for 14 count, I want to make sure that this tension is a little bit looser to give me better coverage because I seem to have like a hard time. Although this is like my second or third time trying 10 stitch on a 14 count. So, so I'm not saying too much, but I haven't been successful yet with getting the right tension versus strands versus like coverage. So, but this seems to be doing pretty good. Like I said, I think I'm gonna continue doing the 14 count with this stamped kit. And I just really like, so I much prefer the look of full cross, but I prefer the speed of doing 10 stitch or half cross, whatever you want to call it. And so I overlook the look and feel of it because it doesn't bother me as bad as the speed. The speed is like what really gets me. If I, because I am a progress stitcher, he's a, oh. stitch with me's are like these days. <laughs> Very loud. We have strong emotions and we don't know how to talk yet. So. Hey everybody, sorry about that. That got a little crazy there. Uh, but we're just weaving in the ends here and uh, yeah. So with the 10 stitch, I'm really liking it so far. I, I just really have to be careful with my tension and I think you know, the more 10 stitch I get done on this project and the further away you look at it, the better it looks. So uh, here it is all the way zoomed out and I hope you all take care. Bye.